It's about eight o'clock on Saturday night. I actually had to end up going into work this morning, so I didn't get any reading done this morning. I got to come home for lunch, and I ended up watching Death of a Salesman. It was really good, but I would recommend reading the book instead. I thought the book was a lot better, but I was really glad that I watched it. And then after that, I started The Con Artist back up. I'm about 120 pages in, and I still have about 200 pages left, but there's going to be a fireworks show in the town over from me, so I'm going to go head out and watch those. Hopefully I can get some footage of that for you guys, and then maybe come home and read a little bit before I go to bed. But tomorrow is the last day, so I have to finish this book. I am on my last book of my challenge, so I'm really hoping that I can get through that. Hey guys, it's Sunday afternoon. I just got back from church and I made myself some lunch. I've been trying to read from The Con Artist all day and I have about 60 pages left and this is my last book for the readathon. So I'm gonna try and finish this in the next hour or so. It is perfect reading weather. It's a little dark and stormy and I don't have to get back out until this evening's church services. So I should have plenty of time to finish this book today. I will let you guys know when I finish this book. Hi guys, so I have finally finished all seven books that I was going to read this week for Booktubeathon. I thought I would do a small wrap-up of all of the books that I read. I read 1,297 pages this week, and that's not even counting the ebook that I was reading halfway through the week. The first book that I read last week was The Uncommon Reader. This is about the Queen of England who decides that she likes to read, and she becomes a little obsessed with reading like we all do. It was rather humorous, but it wasn't anything special, and I gave this three stars. Then I read both Alice's Adventure in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. I counted them both as two books. I read them at different times in the week and I love this book. I've read it a thousand times so I gave both of these five stars. Then I read The Duchess of Bloomsbury Street. This is nonfiction about a woman from New York who goes to England to kind of talk about her book that she wrote. I really loved this book and it has a lot to do with England which I really love everything to do with England so I gave this four stars. Then I listened to on audio The Keeper of Lost Things by Ruth Hogan. This is about an older man who likes to collect things because when he was younger his fiance gave him something and he ended up losing it on the same day that she died. And then when he dies he has his housekeeper try and give all of the things that he's collected to all of the people who have lost them. I thought this would be a really cute book but I was really disappointed in it. It really wasn't anything I was looking for. There were too many characters and there were three narrators and it was hard to keep track of who was who and unfortunately I gave this two stars. Then I picked up Death of a Salesman. This is a short play and I got through it really quickly. I listened to this on audio as well but this is an older man who is a salesman and it's just him reflecting on his life when he was younger and all of the mistakes he's made. I also watched the movie along with this one and I thought the movie was pretty good. It was just like the book but I thought the book was better as it normally is and I gave the movie three and a half stars and I gave the book four stars. And lastly I read The Con Artist. I didn't think this was a YA book but after reading it I think it probably was. This was about a guy who goes to Comic-Con. He is a comic artist and one of his acquaintances is murdered and everyone thinks that this guy is the one who killed him. I was hoping it would be a lot more nerdy than it was. Maybe I just didn't understand the references anymore 
anymore and it was just like a YA book and I'm not into those anymore so it was extremely cheesy and I didn't really care for this book I gave this two stars okay so those were all the books that I read this last week hopefully you guys had a great readathon as well and got a lot of reading done let me know if you guys participated in the booktubeathon and what your favorite book was also let me know what you guys thought of my kind of vlog style this week but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching bye